The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot, as well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to a new foes appeared. With the amount of extra security we I've put in today, hopefully Baby 9 will not make his way in. Hopefully. So, the foe we are going to talk about today is a foe from a studio I haven't really covered in a while. And if you want to know who it is, take a look at... Uh, wait, Baby 9 e How did you even get in here? Did you not think I had an ability similar to Shadow? Teleporting and stuff? Um, no, I did not think of that. Exactly! That's how I managed to outsmart you and made my way in. Looks like this villain takeover stuff is gonna go on for a while. So, if you wanna know who the foe I'm talking about today is, take a look at this. DJ Octavio? I've thought about covering that character for a while, but not today. Well, BB-8, yes? If you wanted to wait a while to cover DJ Octavio, why didn't you say so? Cause, I did have him on the list. It's just you and your villain takeover trying to rush these villain characters out. And can you please leave while I cover the character for you? Fine, I'll leave. This isn't the last you hear from me this episode. I will be coming back in just to warn BB-8 that I'm gonna be back for a while. Alright, if that's what BB-9E wants, DJ Octavio from Splatoon is who we are going to talk about today. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the moveset, the neutral special, we have Octoshot. DJ Octavio summons an Octarian cannon and fires slow-moving but large ink projectiles that splatter on impact, dealing medium damage and leaving an ink puddle on the ground. Enemies caught in ink puddles will be slowed down slightly, similar to Inkling's ink mechanic, but with more focus on area control rather than damage amplification, and the projectile can be charged to increase its size and damage. For the side special, we have Octo Punch. DJ Octavio launches a large robotic fist forward on a spring-like mechanism. This move acts like a tether and grab opponents from a distance. If it connects, the hand grabs them and pulls them toward DJ Octavio and delivers them a heavy punch. It's a command grab with long range, similar to Incineroar's Alolan Whip, but with a more extended reach. For the up special, we have Octo Hover. DJ Octavio's hovercraft lifts into the air using a burst of ink 
propulsion. The moves work like Rob's Robo Burner, allowing controlled flight in multiple directions for a short time. Ink sprays out as he ascends, which can deal minor damage to enemies below him, making it both a recovery and light area of effect attack. For the down special, we have Splat Bomb Barrage. DJ Octavio summons Splat Bombs and throws them at various angles. Pressing the button multiple times allows for rapid throws with each bomb bouncing once and then exploding in a medium sized area of effect. The move is somewhat like Snake's Grenades, but with the ability to throw multiple of them in a row. The bombs deal splash damage and can be used to control the stage. And finally, for the final smash, we have Great Octobot Invasion. DJ Octavio calls on his massive mech, the Great Octobot, and begins hit a cinematic final smash. The camera zooms in on DJ Octavio as he ascends into the mech, which begins firing large ink projectiles and missiles across the screen. Players caught in the initial blast are sent into a cutscene where the Octobot stomps around a cityscape, causing massive damage and culminating in a powerful explosion, sending opponents flying and the attack is similar to Bowser Jr's Shadow Mario paint but more destructive. For the alts, we have the default alt which is an original purple and black colour scheme with neon green. For the second alt we have red Octarian, with red being a red and black version similar to the elite Octo Troopers. For the third alt we have orange Splatfest with a vibrant orange and yellow palette mimicking Splatoon ink colours. For the fourth alt we have blue wave being a bright blue version reminiscent of blue Octarians. For the fifth alt we have Octo Samurai Tribute which is green and brown based on the Octo Samurai, with the sixth alt is Cuttlefish Rivalry being a black and white version inspired by Captain Cuttlefish. For the seventh alt we have DJ Hypnosis being a neon pink and lime green, referencing the Squid Sisters Splatfest, and for the eighth alt we have golden a golden purple recolor evoking a royal Octarian aesthetic. For the classic mode route, we have Octo Overload, with round 1 being Inkling, round 2 being King K. Wool, round 3 being Jigglypuff and Weefa Trainer, round 4 being Bowser Jr. and the Koopalings, round 5 being Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong, round 6 being Meta Knight, and, and the final boss being Master Hand and Crazy Hand. For the stage, we have Octo Valley. This stage is based on DJ Octavio's layer from the original Splatoon from 2015. The stage is a dynamic platform floating above Octarian Metropolis. Below, you can see Octo Valley with various Octarian enemies watching the battle. The stage features moving platforms and occasional hazards like ink strikes that will rain down from the background, splattering ink across parts of the stage, adding temporary movement speed penalties similar to the ink mechanic. So guys, what did you think of DJ Octavio? Initially this wasn't the foe I was going to talk about today, hopefully, as soon as I get to work, on a teleport proof basement, I will finally get to talk about the foe I want to talk about. So, don't forget to- Whoa, 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 whoa! What did I say before? I'm still gonna pop up, even though you don't expect it. Come on, baby 9 hey? Can you just let me finish? Fine, but I will be here waiting for you at this exact time. And here is the list of villains I want to talk about. Get out of here, will you, BB9A? Alright, before I go to work on a teleport proof basement, I just want to say, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on, so you don't miss another new Foes Appeared episode like this one. And I will see you all in a future video, or new Foes Appeared episode, BB8, out.